So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, machines, artificially intelligent, naturally intelligent, or uh, you know, however you come. Welcome to one and all to the world's largest and best artificially intelligent and artificial intelligence event in the world, possibly even the solar system. Welcome to COGX, day one. Now, I know it's raining outside, I know that it's Monday, and I know that we're all preoccupied with this magical B-word obsession. However, there's never been a better time to be alive and prove that the thing that really connects us against machines, for example, is human connection. So I'm going to start the morning off with possibly your worst nightmare. I want you all to get up and turn to a stranger next to you and... I'm sorry, I'm going to do it. Um, and I want you to ask, ask three questions. What's your name? What brings you here? And what is your favorite thing about Donald Trump? No, I'm joking. Uh, we won't be doing that. Uh, what's your favorite thing in the world and why? So if I can get you all to just spend a couple of minutes interacting now, standing up on your feet, being friendly. What's your name? What brings you here? And what's your favorite thing? <clears throat> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now we've got you all acquainted. If you could please sit down. If I could get everyone to sit down, calm down, now we're all friends. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad at all, a very energetic crowd, which is what we like to see. Uh, now obviously that might have seemed like a bit of a, a, an unusual thing to do, but like we say, we like to prove that, you know, machines can't really replace human connection. And uh, we can't really lose that magic touch of kindness and warmth, even if it feels really un-British for first thing in the morning. Now, as a starting point, if you're on the impact stage over the next three days, then you're going to be seeing a lot of me. So now that you've all been introduced to each other, it's time to introduce myself. My name is Dan Murray Serta, um, and uh, I think I've been asked to host the stage for two main reasons. The first is I write a popular newsletter that goes out every Sunday on brain health and performance, so cognitive performance in naturally intelligent humans, um, in under three minutes, and we cover psychology, neuroscience, and nutrition for the brain every single week. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up for that next week. And I also host uh, one of Europe's most popular entrepreneurship podcasts featuring uh, wonderful leaders like some of these company founders. And uh, we're just recording season four at the moment with the likes of the founders of Zoopla, Slack, Deliveroo, Grenade, and many more. So now that you've got accustomed to me, before we kick off, with all the fun, we do have some important housekeeping notes to get you on the edge of your seat holding your breath, because who doesn't love housekeeping notes? Now, I hope everyone has downloaded the app, uh, but if not, it looks a bit like this, and you can use it to get all the information on content and connect with fellow members. Now, there is a personalized schedule that you can create to get everything that you need, and anyone that you want to meet and more, everything just goes into an automatic calendar schedule. And it's probably worth mentioning that you're never going to get any more opportunities to see people who are just as interested in the future of technology as here. So do connect and check out your notifications. Now, if you haven't yet got 
uh, the app, then don't worry, you can still download it on uh, the Wi-Fi. Here is the information. I'd probably suggest everyone takes a photo of that in case you don't have it. I'll leave it up there for a second. Okay, now, uh, for anyone that's actually been here before, King's Cross is a rather enormous place, and we want to make sure as we're spanning the majority of it, you know where you're going and you get familiar with the map. So, um, the orange zone is here and it takes about 10 minutes to walk from here, but there's also a shuttle bus that'll take you there and pick you up from opposite the Happy Place restaurant, which is to your right. Now, every stage has something magical, so make sure you get a chance to see all the other stages. Now, the canal stage, will now live stream all of its content from the other stages, weather permitting, of course. Um, so if we do get some sunshine and you fancy some vitamin D, uh, then you can go watch it on the lovely big screen out there. But just to let you know, if you were going to see anything on the canal stage, that has had a last minute change and become the tunnel stage, uh, which everyone was uh, working very hard last night to make happen. And it's in this beautiful tunnel here. Um, admittedly, I noticed this also looks a little bit like an online capture test, so to prove you're not a robot, please click the one with an escalator. Um, right, now food. Um, one thing that really separates us from machines, of course, is our love of food and our appreciation for replenishment, and we want to make sure that you get ample neurological nourishment over the next few days. Now, the wonderful people of Curb will be serving up food with all sorts of wonderful and varied cuisine, so do explore if your stomach starts rumbling. Obviously, you're in King's Cross, there's loads of restaurants to explore as well, so do as you please. Now, COGX is very proud to be partnering with the fantastic 2030 Vision Sustainable Development Goals. And if you haven't yet made yourself familiar with all 17 goals, there's no better time to get on board and make sure you're consciously understanding the impact each and every one of us can make to create a better future in line with sustainable growth. Now, if you want to learn more about the SDGs, as the cool kids or the lazy that abbreviate things might say, then you can head over to a booth in the expo area, which is actually underneath us right now. And if you're feeling, you know, really hot, from all the rain, then they're also serving up 17 different flavors of ice cream. Each one represents a different goal. Um, and they'll be handing out free badges and information on the SDGs and uh, why they're important. So go have a conversation with them, learn more about our impact, and learn more about what they're doing and why. Now, usually at conferences, speakers are given just a bottle or a cup of water, but we give them this, which means that the speakers actually have to work for replenishing their thirst. Now, the cup they're given is both recyclable and biodegradable, but because only 2% of plastic is recycled, we want to build an emotional attachment to the art of recycling. So, they have to think of a date in the next two years that means something to them, and once they have that, they have to write it on the label and recycle it by that time. The record, they record the date on socials using hashtag recycleby and why that means something to them. Now, we're almost ready to get straight into the first sessions, but before we do that, a few minutes ago, I asked you to prove the value of human connection which can't be replaced by a machine. So, without getting up this time and making too much ruckus, but very quickly, I want to just check that your memory is as good as any computer RAM. Please turn to the person next to you and tell them what you remember. What was their name? What was their favorite thing in the world? And what do they do? And if you don't remember, now's a good time to remind yourselves. How long do you want me to keep this going? 
How long does it keep this going? Uh, not much. Let's go. Okay. <coughs> Okay, guys, thank you very much. You've been a very obliging and very warm crowd. Now that we've got you so warm, I think the last thing for me to say is just a reminder. We want this event to feel fun, and the best way to do that is radical inclusion with each other. So we've had a good example of what it's like to just speak to a stranger and strike up conversation. Don't be afraid to do that over the next few days. If you see someone looking a little lost or lonely or confused or curious, why don't you go and start a conversation with them and ask them what brings them here and why they're interested. That is everyone's mandate for the next three days. So...